Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is all about a user who was using his Oculus Quest and then unfortunately broke his neck and apparently Facebook then went on to delete his account. By the way, a quick thank you to those who recently went to our merch store to purchase some of our octopus plain Beat Saber designs. You guys are really awesome. Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. A big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to see you and to have you among us. And of course, very nice to meet you if it's your first time here to the platform. Now, today's video is very much in relation to the video we posted yesterday, which was all about the changes in policies for privacy for WhatsApp and what it really means for the future users using an Oculus device, which is made by Facebook. But today, there are two key things to address here. First of all, there is a user on Reddit called VibingLike1776, who first of all, allegedly broke his neck whilst he was using the Oculus Quest by playing some Population 1 but then posted this on his Facebook profile and Facebook had apparently allegedly decided to just block his account straight away. The first thing we need to be cautious about is the fact that it can be dangerous to play VR specifically for too long or if your play space isn't properly set up. We did post a video online about the 2020's best gags in VR, but there is a serious side to it as well. Apparently, this user was using Population 1 for two, three days where he had some pains at the back of his shoulder, which then spread to his actual neck. And then eventually, the fourth day, he woke up and then that was it. He had to go to hospital. Now, he uploaded his doctor certificate on the actual Reddit as well. His C7 vertebrae apparently had fractured and slipped. After he went to the doctor and managed to change the brace, he basically then posted that picture on Facebook telling people as to what had happened. But he allegedly said also in his post that he didn't blame Facebook for what happened or wasn't trying to defame them in any way. Nonetheless, Facebook replied apparently straight away telling him that his post was not lawful or binding according to the uh, agreement of the Facebook policies and had automatically closed down his Facebook account. He then allegedly said that he was not able to access, of course, any of his Quest apps at all, where he apparently said he had spent more than $300. Since the post on Reddit, which was posted, by the way, apparently a month ago, has had hundreds and hundreds of different comments and people giving their fair share of opinions on this matter. Even though we're not personally able to confirm or deny whether this post and this report, which allegedly was posted on Reddit by this user, is true or false. However, nonetheless, I will put a link in the description below to guide you as to any questions that you may have in terms of having to use your Facebook login with your Quest and how you can put things in place so you can be cautious so your account doesn't get deleted. Also, let's remind ourselves that we do need to be safe when we're playing in VR, regardless of what kind of VR device you might be using. And apparently, allegedly, his accident actually occurred because he was using his arms to climb on something whilst in VR, looking up with his head, which apparently is a very unnatural position for us to have in normal life. Do leave a comment below to let us know whether you wish us to do a follow-up video where we could perhaps teach you some basic stretching exercises so that you can be safe in VR. Also, please remember to be part of the notification squad so that you don't miss the next video simply by enabling your notification bell after you hit subscribe.